Hi, Russ from Pro Tools Expert. I know a few days ago that a lot of you were really pleased to see the video where I showed you how to get uh, logic and audio units coming into Pro Tools. Well, I want to show you uh, another device that's come along uh, from uh, an independent developer, and it's it's really cool. Basically, it's a VST host. It's called VST Lord, and it's a Mac uh, host for VSTs that works in exactly the same way as uh, Mainstage would for audio unit stuff and uh, it's it's pretty cool it's pretty straightforward to use and if you didn't watch how to set up Soundflare and how to set up aggregate devices then watch the video with the link you're seeing in, in this video to see how we get to that point then I'm going to show you how easy it is to then set this up as well so basically uh, let me show you in action first so I've, I've loaded in Tal Baseline which is a a VST a program from the guys at Toga Audio Line and it's a kind of SH101 device and it's hosted now in this VST Lord and so I'll quickly play you just show you in action and then that show you how it works so uh, just go back to the beginning of this this uh, track for Pro Tools and uh, let's take that up let's give that an extra bar afterwards in a minute and we'll duplicate that that's better and let's just record a bit of bass line and just show you in action. So I've got it basically the MIDI tracks here. So I've got a MIDI channel uh, on Pro Tools and that's going out to IEC driver bus channel 1. And you can see the other video of how that got set up. And then in the auxiliary, I've got the bass coming back in, bass audio. Or it could be anything for this, for this, but it's bass on this occasion. So that's coming back into Pro Tools and that's coming back through Soundflower 1 and 2. Or if you've got 16 channels, you could obviously choose whatever channel you want to bring it through. So, so you can see that's coming back through here now. So let's record something and I'll just show you in action. I'll do the count off. Uh, let's go back to the beginning. That's now ready to go. So there we go, there's a few bars of bass, uh, nothing spectacular. So we just take that back for two bars for a second, just for the for the sake of this uh, demo. I'm just going to move that out of the way, get rid of that. Let's just quickly get those on the beat as well, just so that we're, we're all... And move those down a bar as well. I'm going to bring them here. Now, of course, we can go in here like we did on main stage. And that's now changing the presets in here. That's really cool straight away because you can't do that in patches within Pro Tools itself. So that's cool. So we're now hosting a VST in Pro Tools. So let me show you VST Lord in action. And so here it is. So I'm going to just close that all together. And all you do is you download it and I'll give you the link to the site. And then you just go File, New Synth. And then you get your VST folder where you keep all your VST plugins and you can choose one to load in. So I could choose something else. Uh, any of these instruments can come in. And again, I'll go for, for Tile Baseline. It loads it in. And then I need to come here and I go MIDI, bus one I, IAC. And then you click on this speaker here to get the output. And PT External Instruments is my aggregate device. And as I said, that's already been set up before we do this demo. And if you haven't worked out how to set up an aggregate device, then go and watch my video that I did the other day here on YouTube. And so now, Pro Tools is going out to that. I can go through Change Sounds. And then I can come back out to it as well, and I can... And we have a performance meter, we have the audio here, showing the audio coming out of it. Turn that up and down. 
can even record our performances. So if you've got a bass part that you record, you can actually record that. It saves it to wherever you want to save it to, and then you can drag it back into Pro Tools. Of course, that's just the same as bouncing it to a track anyway. So that's just a nice cool feature. It's even got a MIDI player built in, so you could load in a, a MIDI track and then play it, and then play it to a certain tempo as well. There's 120 BPM. So it's as straightforward as that. That's all there is to it, really. Uh, and it will just host anything. We just go out and we just load something else in instead. So we could go and, I don't know, uh, contact VST, open that. And what's nice as well is if you see this in a second, it will load it in. And then, in fact, let's close that and just start again. Now, another cool feature as well, which I found out as I played with it, was we can open up contact. Let's try that. Take a minute or so. Should work. Just says resize the window, which is nice. Then we can uh, add in any library in that we want that we've already got and load that in. Now, what's cool as well then is we could go to VST and we can add an effect in as well as part of that thing. So we could add guitar again as part of that as well, which is nice. So that's now got the guitar rig coming in and using that. So very nice indeed. And some of the other features that you've got, uh, you've got uh, you can enable or disable the MIDI player and uh, so you go through the banks and the programs and just that's it really uh, there's not much more to it it's just a really cool little free VST host if you've got a VST program that you're not going to be able to host in Pro Tools uh, and you can do it this way instead and of course you can use it with your favourite door if you're watching this and you're not a Pro Tools user so that's it that is VST Lord I think f flipping great uh, uh, great value for money. It's free. It's brilliant. Uh, so go over to his site and download it and try it for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.